We're uh, doing a little voiceover here. What's this? Okay, what am I doing? I'm, I'm climbing on Storm Shadow. Now that was one of the first climbs I got on this spring season in the park because everything was still snowy and chaos and figured it'd be a good uh, good intro to the slippery heel hooky park style. So super psyched to get that one done in a couple days work. Um, but as you can see here, I'm making my way to the top. Everything's looking good so far. And then, oh, da big dab in the tree. I am in the tree, but some people will say that's okay. Some people will say, I know a lot of people will say, cut the tree down. That's probably a good thing to do. Okay, now here's Dead Raccoon. I thought this boulder was pretty hard when I was trying it. And uh, here's me on it in my blue shirt. And, oh, okay, I'm doing okay. And then, okay, here we go with this big heel hook, high heel hook. I'm gonna slap up to a crimp. Hard crux move for me. And then, oh, I fall off. Hard. So, now this, this guy is doing it. This isn't actually me. This is this, uh, actually a hiker I met on the trail named uh, Jason. And he wanted to try out rock climbing, so I took him up to this boulder and he was able to get it done pretty quickly, which is impressive for going out climbing for your first time. I thought it's a pretty hard V11 and uh, he just he uh, was kind of sloppy at the end, as you can see. He's kind of trying a little too hard here. A little suh. Oh, come on, come on. But then, oh, but still pretty impressive for someone who had never touched rock before, or uh, even plastic for that matter. So that was really cool to watch him do it. I was really uh, happy for him. And okay, let's see what's next. Here he is, topping out. Is he okay? Yeah. Oh. Then this is back to me, I think, on Hi-Fi, little crimpy boulder. But, you know, you see this, I skip the crimps and I just go right to the jug. Oh, it's still kind of hard though. Then I am going into the darkness here, as you can see. And I didn't actually do this boulder because I didn't go to the top of the rock, which is normally what you have to do. So, uh, you can call me out on a private forum for this one. Okay, and this is Golden Rose of Flows. Liam said it might just be a really messed up V7, but for me, it was a little harder than that. Oh, no. I'm hunting again. Ah. About 30 goes to do this first move, Why? and then I thought I'd never fall after, but I ended up falling about eight times after. Mostly it just this one day. Oh, foot slip. That's sad. Yeah. This was actually on the last day I had in Chaos. It was in uh, mid-October, I think. And it was super cold and super, super windy. I barely even made it to this boulder. So, and it was just miserable being there. Just so windy, you couldn't hear yourself think. So this is uh, Blood Money, and I tried it, and it was super, super windy in there. And it created this uh, kind of wind tunnel effect where the wind was blowing straight up on me. And the wind was holding me with so much force that I could almost climb uh, weightlessly. You can see here, I, uh, I go up for the crux, 
and I actually fall off, but the wind uh, just pushes me back on, and then I'm able to grab onto that hold again and finish the boulder off. So given that the wind was uh, blowing so strongly, it doesn't really feel like I should be able to take the scent, but uh, I think I will anyways. Come on, Come on. All right, here right. I am on Mesmerizer. Little link up on the gangbang. Builder. Come on. And Let's if you go, listen beast. very closely, you can hear Come actually uh, Alex Puccio cheering me on. So that's on. the reason I was actually yeah, able dude. to send this on. one. I think it's on right the, uh, the only boulder in the Shoulder. video I actually climbed successfully. Do it, dude. Come on. And Come on, I think that's Get much there. thanks Jug. to her yeah, hold it, hold it, hold it. encouragement. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Boom. And he's done it. That till it's over. Tell the vloggies how you feel. <laughs> the vloggies? The, the, the vloggies. I feel so happy. <laughs> so happy to Brilliant. Start my journey on the marble seat. All right, here's me setting off on Bush Pilot, classic V11 in Lower Chaos. And what you're gonna see here is I'm actually using a little pad of rubber on my knee which is not really considered kosher in rock climbing at all. So I'm basically cheating right now. Look at this. Put the knee in and then, oh, I'm all, all the way through the crux, just in one fell swoop. That's the beauty of the knee pad. You know, some will say, oh, he didn't actually do it. Some will say, Adam Andre uses a knee pad, it's fine. Some will say, why didn't I see the knee bar in that big dihedral? But yeah, look at me just flying to the top easily. Okay, what's next? Uh, oh, Secret Splendor. This is a funny story. Um, here, I'm actually giving them a go. Oh, I stick a hard move. Walk the feet back, let's see. Crux move, can you do it? Yes, he's got it. A little move to the top. Oh, dry fire, that was sad. And I couldn't actually, um, didn't, feel like I had enough strength to do it that night. So if you look really closely in this video, you can see that uh, Bruce Zoe is actually under me, kind of uh, supporting my body through these moves. I'm not actually climbing it. Um, he's just under there, you can kind of see, oh, he's kind of pushing me up right on my butt, just kind of boosting me through the boulder so I can take this Instagram video um, to make it look like I actually climbed the rock. But nope, 